Oh, we are in trouble. So basically, we have nothing in the ground yet. And it is already mid-spring. We should be planting. That ground is already 55 degrees. It is prime time to be planting, and we don't have anything in the ground. Today, our focus is to get our fields limed. I talked to our agronomist. Uh, he gave us a chart plot here, so we'll go up and look at that quickly. So basically, so we own this field right beside our house here. We own this small little field right by our pig barns or our farmyard now. And we also have this new field we just disked up that all needs lime. So that's going to be our focus today. We're going to try to get that all limed. Right now, Jake or the co-op, they are... Uh, putting fertilizer on our big field also need to get some grass planted in that hopefully sometime but let's get to it so an update on my truck so I really tried to get my truck into the server, but for whatever reason, we got an error going with it. So we're still going through some testing. We're trying to work out the error. So for whatever reason, the it's not allowing to be loaded onto a multiplayer map. So got to check some stuff, talk to Buck, see if he knows what's going on. I have no idea what's going on, to be honest. So I didn't see any load errors, but... I'm sure we can figure it out. Just have some patience. I'll sure it'll be public for you guys all to enjoy here soon. All right, so we are gonna head down over here. So I did make a recent purchase you guys probably haven't seen yet. So we got another Ford on the farm here. Ford 9000 that is, woo. Parked at an angle there. Don't wanna park like that. Here, we'll back up. So we got another Ford 9000 on the farm. The most important thing, we got this belt trailer. So we are gonna use this to pick up some lime. Hopefully this will work nice. I kinda like how it looks. So basically this funnels it all out. Well this funnels it down towards the belt and then the belt pushes it out the back here. So kinda a different trailer here. So it works good for lime and uh, fertilizer products and also silage. But we are going to use it for lime today. See if this old girl starts. Yep. Good old Ford here. So we're going to head up towards the co-op. Pick up a load. Full load of lime. And I'm hoping that will get us enough to finish all of our fields. Maybe we'll get to some planting some grass this afternoon. Don't know for sure. But we will see. Just love the looks of this trailer. So it's a little bit smaller of a trailer. So usually this dry product like this, fertilizer and lime, comes a little bit heavier. So it's probably why it's a little bit smaller. It does have an automatic tarp on it. Kind of convenient. There's a fertilizer spreader running in our big field. Thought I'd bring the Ford 9000 out. We had been driving mostly with our new Mack trucks, so probably better hold off on getting too many hours on them things. So I figured I would good to get the new Ford a test run here. Ooh, man, we are speeding through this city. That is not good. We can't be speeding like that. Cop will get us. All right, so we're going to pull over here to the co-op. Get a full load of lime on us. So Jake isn't here today, but he said it's okay to get a full load of lime. I thought I would just slightly tease Jake today, so I did put a sign in there. It's been a Zach. I did put a sign in his little office here. Said it's exactly been zero days since his last accident. It's all in fun, Jake. 
I'm just giving you a little uh, help with your accident prone driving but we will start heading back here we're all loaded up so got this thing all loaded with lime here so now we gotta spread it drive out here looks like they could probably use a road grader over here to smooth this uh, road all up so the good thing is it's not too far from the to the co-op from our house there so it's kind of convenient in that aspect we are gonna head back and start getting this spread so we'll just hauling down this uh, semi pulls this uh, trailer really easy so even though we got a about just about 66 tons on it so we're a little bit heavy Woo! almost did a jake there got to get on the road but we got about 66 tons on it so we are a little heavy but not too much looks like the fertilizer might be uh done now he didn't miss anything we'll have to go check his work but as long as that's done we are going to use that to start spreading some lime all right so i think i'm just gonna unload this right here in our middle of our kind of our equipment uh parking lot per se start unloading go unloads kind of nicely I kind of like how this trailer unloads so hopefully that is not too much all right we will shut this off and then I'll have to call my wife to get a uh, ride to the fertilizer spreader all right so we're just driving back the fertilizer spreader here so we don't know, Mac actually gave us this fertilizer spreader, so it's kind of convenient because we actually really need it right now. The only issue is, is man, did this thing get muddy when it was spreading the fertilizer on our big field there. So we're going to wash this thing off here quickly. A good pressure washing. And then we're going to hopefully fill it up with some lime. Just look how dirty that thing is. That thing is covered everywhere. Hardly could tell it's uh, black and gray. So we'll wash this off. Can't have a Mack truck that's dirty. So the plan is to use our new loader tractor to uh, fill this thing up. See if this thing starts up. This is one big bucket. So hopefully everything works out. All right. back this thing up over here Ooh, don't want to hit that door with our uh, grappling hooks there that would be bad there we go so hopefully this can take a pretty big load otherwise we're gonna be here a while Alright, looks about like it can take about three tons. So I decided to move the truck over there just for easier filling. So this loader tractor just barely doesn't go up high enough. So that's the reason why we moved it over a little bit. That way it's in the little bit farther down. There we go. Get a full bucket. Back this up really liking this 8R with a loader even though it's kind of unusual you can say and we got over four tons on that one so we really loaded that one high there we go start unloading it there so don't know exactly how many tons this will take 
Wrong way there. There, now we got another four tons in that big bucket. Whew! Gets a little bit tipsy, even though we got them front wheel sis, we got the front duels on and everything. Ooh. It's a lot of weight for this old tractor. Dump that in there. Dump it nice and slow, I guess. There we go. Got another load done. So get that bucket full again. Have it down far enough. There we go. Gotta scrape that off that grass there a little bit. Ooh, and a little bit too far. Unload that nicely. Hopefully I'm about half full. Don't know exactly. It's going to take multiple loads with this old tractor. That is one heavy load there on this tractor. Probably should put like an implement on the back of this thing just for some more weight. So we don't have such a hard time uh, controlling it. Do get a little front heavy. We do have rear dual weight, so that helps us out a little bit. Don't know exactly how much more this will hold. Look at that. Filled her up that time. Hopefully we still have about two more loads here in this pile here. We will get this put down. Shut this off quickly and jump in here. Basically we just got to go on the other side of our new uh, breeding barn here. Start spread. Had to change my rate a little bit. Wasn't going on, wasn't putting it on high enough. So just turned up the RPMs of our spreader there. Definitely don't want to have to make two passes with this lime. Usually, if you do a good covering, you get the right mixture. It should be good for. About three years. Looks like we only took about one tenth of the actual lime for that. Not too shabby whatsoever. So basically, we already got all of our fields tilled up that we are going to uh, utilize. So I thought maybe I was going to get that other field across the way there I still might do it so uh, kind of right by where we hunt I'm thinking I'm maybe putting some soybeans down there so I can get me a beautiful buck maybe next winter missed out this year I think I still will do that I'll disc that up over there we should still have adequate hay ground with this field across the street right there and then uh, our big field we're gonna plant some more grass on the high points on it still have to go over one more time on these fields uh, tillage that is so just to break up that sod a little bit more so this is the first time these fields have been broken up in a long time that's for sure
Alright, so now we're going to run down to our big field over here. Our newly tilled up big field. I really like the shape of this field. It's kind of unique. Kind of a little different with the high line poles in the center of it. Hopefully, uh, when we're driving around here, we don't uh, pole dance around one of them and end up... Uh, breaking a piece of equipment or pole dancing with them it's like uh what is that uh jake or austin's tractor has been parked for a while they definitely need to get some work done they got a lot of ground to cover oh this is what we call pole dancing so we almost Went a little bit too far there. Just got to go around. Good thing about a spreader, you just not really have to worry about going all around. But we just got to ring around the pole. A little pole dancing in the field. So it looks like we're almost out. Don't know if... Yeah, I guess we will get to the other end of the field over here. But we're not going to get very much farther. So I think I'm just going to touch up some places I kind of missed over here. So a little OCD if you can say. Just want to make sure this is all touched up. Oh man, didn't get that one complete. I have to remember to go uh, finish that up later. So we're going to head down over here and fill this old thing up again. I think I got way too much lime. We do have to lime the field directly ahead of us, so I want to disc that one up too. So I think possibly what we'll do, we'll load this thing up really quick, put the disc on really quick onto the 8R, and then uh, go disc that up so we can get this all of our liming done in one day. But first things first, we need to load this back up again. Don't want to have to load this up with our uh, either our excavator or our, our bobcat because that would take forever. All right, so let's get into this uh, 8R here. Start it up. There we go. A little bit hard time scraping that uh, all the lime off with this thing. It's like we got majority of it that time, but like I said, we might have to bring the bobcat out here just to get make sure we don't have no leftovers. Don't know Grant's on a big hunting trip right now, so I think maybe I might help him out and lime his field right across from us because. He still has last year's crop in there. I know he's really behind. I think farther than us, so... That might help him out a little bit, getting uh, his crops in. Good thing about having these type of 8R as a loader tractor is usually because of the implements they have to run and everything. They got huge hydraulic pumps, which makes them kind of good for loader tractors because... We have instantaneous uh, loader response because they got huge volume of hydro running through their pumps already. So definitely kind of a convenience having this big. I might have to move my truck a little bit so I can clean up around it. Alright, so it looks like we filled it up as high as we can go. Uh, we still got a little bit of uh, product still around here, so I don't know how exactly I'm going to get that cleaned up if I'm going to get the kid steer over here. I think I'm going to move the truck right now, just so that's not in the way. Back down over here, we're going to drive in Grant's field really quick here. Hopefully he doesn't notice. So... Yeah, I think 
maybe we can get that rest of that picked up with the kid steer maybe with the bucket I don't know we'll have to try I would like to get the remainder of it picked up before I hook up the disc just so I don't have to re unhook it again plan is to park this over here I'll back this up I'll park this right over here it's really surprised that uh, Austin doesn't use his truck more he has it parked over here for a while would think you'd want to use that truck more but we will jump in our forward over here and jump back over there to our spreader all right run over here quickly and just leave this right here now we got a jumping old Mack truck there we go now we will finish up our uh, far field over there. It's like we are done pole dancing over here. So we should just have to do this little bit. Be no problem with the product we have in the back of this thing. plan is right now I'm gonna run back over I'm gonna try to get the rest of the lime put in this truck so I kind of need to get the disc on the 8R it's our only tractor that will pull that thing so that way we should be able to disc and then lime it right after and hopefully we are kind of set for planting then all right so now let's see if we can get the rest of this in the truck. Alright, having a little bit of hard time here. There we go. Woo! That is not easy, that's for sure. Got another bucket full. There we go. Got a little bit. Got to keep scraping this off. Really want to get the remainder of this uh, cleared off. There we go. A little bit more that time. Got to go slow and easy, I guess. Not a full load, but we'll dump it anyways. Almost got it all cleaned off over here. Just got a few more scraps to clean up. Got it all cleaned off. Don't know if I'll be dumping lime like that again over here. Alright. So we will pressure wash this off quickly and then we are going to head over there and we're going to disc up our one remaining field that we need to disc up uh, we do have to disc up the lime that we have out there but at least on some of the fields we do get that done and we should be ready to plant so that is a good feeling. So we're going to head over here by our field by our tree stand. We are going to diss this thing up. So definitely got a lot of extra crop land this year. All right. Now we're going to unfold this quickly. Just 
start disking up this land and then all we have to do is uh, spread it should be a good day of work done takes a while for this thing to unfold there lower that thing down start disking like there's a stump in the middle of the ground right there that might be an issue for the planter we have to remember to grind that whole thing up what we get in the field here so this disc is definitely nice to have around so I'm probably gonna end up purchasing this disc and tractor so pretty convenient to have a big loader tractor on the farm and definitely nice to have a big disc we are definitely getting more cropland here so we need the bigger disc to have around not doing too shabby here really worried about the other guys that they're gonna get everything done we might have to help them out here still gotta get our crops in the ground though that's for sure well, this is our last little sliver on this field, but thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.